Hey guys, thanks for subscribing to my channel and thanks for your love and support. So in this video, we are going to talk about one of the issues that has been found by one of the Indian security researcher named as Bhavuk Jain. Uh, he has found a flaw in Apple website related to JWT token. So what we are going to discuss about is what exactly is JWT token, how does it look like, what is the format and then we will see what are the exploits which are associated with the JWT token and then finally we will jump into analyzing the issue that is founded by Bhavuk Jain. So if you ever pen tested or performed security assessment on web APIs then I am sure you would have seen this JWT token as a part of authorization header or something like that. So this is one of the very important interview questions also if some interviewer is taking your interview and you said or written in your resume that uh, you know web API pen testing then probably that guy will definitely ask you what is JWT token and what are the associated vulnerability with related to it and how do you test for basically a web APIs. So there you will have these things in scope also. So we will discuss in details. So let's jump into it. So let's understand what is exactly a JWT token. So a JWT token is nothing but a standard which is used to create access token for an application. The way it works is like a server basically generates a token which certify a user and its identity, right? So we will see in demo like what exactly a JWT token look like. So if you see a JWT token, it will have three parts basically. Each part will be separated by a dot and its length will be typically around 100 character, right? So it is first part is your header, second part is your payload and third part is your signature. So let's jump into the system and see each part one by one. So if you could see here, this is how exactly a JWT token looks like, which will have three part as I have mentioned X, Y, Z. Let's get into the example. So over here you can see I have copy pasted one of the JWT token which has three part. One is slight bit red color, then second part is on pink color and third part is in blue color. So the red part is nothing but known as the header component and the pink is known as payload or the data. And the third blue part is known as your verify signature or the signature part. So header component again has two parameter or two parts I would say. First one is your algorithm and second, um, second one is your JWT. So some of the commonly used uh, algorithm are RSA, right? So next you can see, so this is the header value that it looks like. Now in real world, uh, you could see this is the encrypted value for this particular header section, right? So if you have scrolled down, then you can see the second part, which is nothing but your payload part. Again, payload contains your number of claims or the data. It can be like as multiple as it can, like sometime it will have two parts or three values depending on the requirement suppose you need the username also you need the phone number or address then that can be goes inside your payload uh, section the, so the third part is signature which has again three different part the first part inside the signature is your header then second part is your payload so if you could see that base 64 url encoded header and the second part is your base 64 url payload and the third part is your secret value Putting all these three part together, this is how the JWT token looks like. So there are multiple usage of this JWT token and few of them are like used to set control on authorization and also on information exchange. So we will have a look in depth slide bit later. So now let's see what are the commonly associated flaw with this JWT token. So the first part I would be talking about this JWT token value itself. So how do you identify? As I said in the beginning that the JWT token with length have something around 100 character and it will have three parts each separated by this dot. There is something known as non attack which we will talk slight bit later. Now the second thing a second way to identify it's like it will be going as a part of your authorization head. So you can see something like this value in some time in your application. So there are many ways uh, this authorization token or JSON web tokens becomes vulnerable. Few of them are like it just leak about the system details in the token itself and sometimes it also has like your expiration timestamp related issues also sometimes it will have issues related to I mean sometimes it will disclose the issuer information and probably sometimes roles and different things also so those are the low level I would say the information disclosure issues that is associated with the CWT token so let's talk about what are the different other way to exploit this JWT token or known as JSON web tokens. So the first way I would say is like if the application doesn't 
verify the signature so the first way is like application doesn't verify signature so consider a developer has made some configurational mistake like the tokens are not validating or verifying this uh, signature part then someone can easily exploit this JWT token now the second way to exploit this JWT token is non-algorithm now consider that the algorithm value that you are setting as I said earlier there are three parts the first part is your header where you can see the algorithm uh, value and also you can see the type right So all the attacker has to do is set the algorithm type to be none and then send the value and see whether this particular JWT token will be whether it will be verified in the backend server or not. Now the way to exp uh, typically in real life the attacker exploit this is like just change the algorithm to none and drop the signature part and then see whether the if the token is mean getting accepted then it will say like it is vulnerable to a non-algorithm type issue. Now the third way to exploit this JWT token is by changing the algorithm from RS-256 to HS-256. So this is another one of the popular methods associated with JWT token. So if I go slight bit deep about it, then you will say like HS-256 uses secret key to sign verify each message, right? and RS-256 uses private key to shine and public key to verify, right? So the public key is not secret, obviously. Now all the attacker has to do is change the algorithm, sign the uh, message with the public key and see whether the application or see whether this particular token is being accepted by the application or not. That way also one can attack this JWT token. Another way to attack this JWT token is by cracking this HS-256 value. So there are two like JWT Brute. So this is basically a .NET application which can also be used to perform brute force attack on this JWT token. So you can see the example usage also. So I would leave it up to you to utilize this tool while pen testing any JWT token. Now there are also some of the more sophisticated attack those are ex exist with related to the value something known as KID or something known as key ID pair, right? So often used to retrieve a key from file system or your database also. Now, uh, there are multiple attacks that can be associated with this key ID value. Some of the common attacks like SQL injection and directory traversal. So all the attacker has to do is pass the payload in the key ID parameter. I'll show you some of the example. Uh, let's say there is one of the SQL injection Right. Even uh, you can pass the directory traversal value inside it and see whether you are able to access some of the files or say example like this. Right. So this way attacker can also utilize this KID value to perform attack against the JWT token. Also there is attack related to different headers like X5U or even attack like JK header injection. Probably I will leave it the description you can go through in details and understand those things better. Now let's jump to this particular vulnerability which is found by Babuk Jain and let's understand it. So Apple has this JWT token or JSON web tokens implemented in their application. So they have something a functionality known as sign in uh, with Apple which works similar to your OAuth and there are two possible ways to authenticate to user either by using your JWT token or a code which is generated by the Apple server. So if you could see this particular diagram, you will get better idea. You could see in the graph, it explained quite clearly that a user basically send a authorization request to the Apple authentication server. And here you could see the authorization granted with the exchange of a JWT token. So the flaw was Apple gives an option to a user to either share an Apple ID with the third party app or not. So if the user decide to hide the email ID, then Apple by default generates its own specific email uh, ID value and send it, uh, you could see here. Now, depending on the user selection after successful authorization, Apple creates a JWT which contains your email ID. Then it is used by a third party application to log into user. So the bug which was associated with this, so you could see the body in the body part that uh, it has the email address value which could be either the Apple uh, like email address or Apple register email address 
or it can also be like any uh, apple generated email address right so the bug this person found is like he could request jwt token for any email id from apple when the signature of this token was verified using apple public key so as i said there is one issue which could be uh, related with the implementation of the token and over here they have not implemented properly so it's now once this particular person has change the uh, email id of a different user and send this value to apple then he could able to get a valid response right or says the token submission successful so this means any attacker can basically forge a jwt token by linking any email address and gain access to the victim account so this can make a huge damage to apple because it can basically lead to user of this particular application and basically give, makes a account takeover kind of thing so here you can see this person has uh, passing any email address and it has basically generated a valid jwt id token for any particular email address right so this way i think this is a critical bug and this person has uh, got a bounty of 100k dollar i think which is like huge amount which is paid by apple so this indian security researcher bhabuk jain has founded a really cool bug with the apple website and got a reward for it so now i am sure that uh, you would have got some idea about jwt token and various attack probably some day we will see all this attack uh, in demo and for take a application and go ahead and exploit them with all this kind of different way so that you get better idea i hope you like this video and if you are going for an interview again as i says you need to read about this jwt token in depth because this is one of the very popular question that you will be facing if you have written in your uh, resume about this jwt token or if you have written in your resume like you have pen tested any uh, web apis so i hope you like this hit like and subscribe and uh, thanks for watching this video